Hi guys, Ali here. Um, let's hope it's third time lucky with uh, this video because the first time I think it wouldn't upload because I'd gone over the 20 minutes and I don't know what happened last time but it went all funny right near the end of the video so as I'm not sure how to edit them I need to get it right straight off. So anyway, this is um, a junk journal that I've done for a swap over on the junk, junk Journal Junkies Facebook group and my partner is Laurie and um, this is the journal I've made for her. Um, this journal is 7 and 3 eighths by 4 and 3 quarters and is about um, an inch and 3 quarters thick and um, it has approximately, well it has 100 pages in it so um, I'll give you a quick run through it because obviously if I can get as much information into the video as possible before it starts going wrong that'd be good. So um, the cover I've actually made from um, this pack it um, was for a postcard album but they're kind of quite strong chipboard pieces so I thought they'd make good covers so I've used um, that and in actual fact this is what dictated the size of the album so I've got one on the front and one on the back um, and I've just um, ignored the holes and put um, my normal binding over the top and then we've got um, a little metal embellishment under there um, which came from Wild Orchid Crafts along with the little rose there and this little crochet flower came from um, Monique some time ago um, Butterby Scraps, we've done a swap and, and she included um, a few of these and I've been hoarding them and thought I need to use them and then obviously there's some seam binding um, and some lace and seam got binding closure and you you see this image was what was already on the chipboard right so we'll go inside um you'll see there's a pocket here and this is um the back of the chipboard piece so that's how it came and in this pocket i've added um a vintage postcard that i found in the charity shop i thought that was really cute and um some of these vintage lady images which Laurie can either use in the journal or um, can um, use them somewhere else. Um, the paper I've used uh, mainly is Kaiser Craft Rustic Harmony and um, then there's some other papers in here that are from a company called Trimcraft who I think are mainly UK um, based so I will point them out as we go. Um, most of the papers have been um, tea dyed and I added just a touch of coffee just to give them a slightly darker um, colour and I've gone round it with um, walnut distress stain just to add some darker areas as well. Um, the first tuck spot, this is um, a free download off the internet and I've added this image which I was given um, in a swap some time back and I've been keeping and uh, I thought I'd add it this time. This is um, one of the journaling spots from the collection and this is a vellum image um, that I've glued over the book page and that way you can see the writing through and I thought that looked quite cool to do that. Um, another image off of the internet and I've used my doily punch there for the edging it. This is um, a little rub on, I'm not sure how clearly you can see that. And um, there's also stickers in here that come from the collection. This is some of the trim craft paper and um, I've actually tea dyed that as well. Uh, another image off the internet with some lace on the back. Um, a um, index card which also has been tea dyed and there's a little bit of stamping through the journal not a great deal but I have added some stamping this is one of those images that I've cut out and included on um, on the page uh, this is obviously a fold out flap and an envelope. I won't open this again but this has got um, a couple of little journaling spots inside 
um, more book paper with a sticker. Um, this is a piece I've actually punched the whole a heart out of the um, book page and when I inked over it I did it so that it laid on the paper behind so it's actually given a ghost image of the heart um, on there so um, then we've got that's the first signature um, I forgot to mention there's six signatures in this book so um, this is tea dye paper but I actually laid a doily on it while I was doing it so it's given that shadowy effect. Um, another download of the internet, more stickers, um, a glassine bag with some more goodies inside. Um, another image that I was gifted some time back and I've used that as a pocket in here. And some more of the patterned paper. Um, stickers. This is a doily which I've added um, a flower to and this is a rub on. This fold out has got a stamped image and some lace on it and this is another rub on. Very faint but I thought it looked quite vintagey if that's a word. <laughs> um, the another part or the other part of the glassine bag and it holds a tag and these there's a couple of tags in here which I got on swaps that I did a while back and I thought I want it's time to use them so I've um, added them in here. Um, a little tuck spot and another one there with lace on it and then pocket here next signature this is a download from the internet um, lined paper although the lines are very faint now after i've tea dyed them um, another book page another rub on sorry the light's not great here today because it's really overcast this is some trim cut prop trim craft paper and it's got a texture to it i thought that was quite nice and this is a tuck spot I've made using a doily and um, a journaling spot. And this has got like a, um, a journaling spot from the collection, but it can be either used that way or that way. So you can tuck double things in here, like this side, where I've added um, a flower, a little image from the internet. And this is. Um, a tag that I received from Leslie Spears. Hi Leslie, um, in our last swap and I thought it was just perfect to go in here. Uh, another index card, more tea dyed paper, more book pages, a stamped image. Um, this is a pocket, a fold out flap. Next signature, um, this is a fold out flap but I've added um, one of, another one of those tags and this is a coin envelope which I cut in half so I've used half here and a half further in the book. Another image of the internet, another tuck spot, both sides. This is some um, quite thick vellum paper but I tea dyed it and thought it'd be quite good to add to the journal. Um, some music paper that I've printed off the internet, another tuck spot and um, the other side this is a um, tag that I received uh, in my swap with Mandy so I've used that. Hi Mandy, thank you. Um, more vellum, this is a uh, another um, journaling card and this is some paper out of a pack that I bought of all different types of paper and I thought it'd be quite good to have some different texture in the book. Some more tea dyed paper, This I've edged this with my doily punch and a pocket. Another pocket, um, another vellum in image that I've loaded or glued over the book page. And this is some washi tape. Um, the flap of an envelope which I've created into a tuck spot and then the other side there's the envelope. Um, a uh, note card which I thought was really pretty so I've included that. 
um, some acetites, um, a, a stamped image and some lice that's been wrapped around the edge of that page, Add more acetite, um, this is the back of that uh, note card with a stamped image on and then um, this is the other part of the coin envelope which I've created another pocket which is a bird cage so I've added a little bird charm up the top there and the gold um, die cut was also from Mandy there's another flap out page uh, more lined paper, um, a little glassine bag which I've added some tabbed uh, shapes that I've punched out um, in the same paper as the collection and then they could be added to the journal if Laurie wants. More book paper, that's the heart that I'd actually punched out previously in the book. Um, and we've got a tuck spot here with a vintage Im image in, um, some old really nice vintage paper more more um, scrapbook paper um, a pocket there and I've added this piece of uh, vintage paper because I thought Laurie might like to punch out some or use it to, for die cuts or something so it's um, just extra to, for her to add to her journal um, another uh, download off the internet and um, another doily, a tuck spot with a couple more images in and another pocket with a, a journaling card. This is the um, other side of the patterned paper. Um, a pocket and another image of the internet. This is another one of Le Leslie's um, gorgeous tags and that's that and then I've added um, a pocket made out of a, a little bag and tucked a few things in the front and then in the back I've added um, this little notebook um, which has got vintage images on and some um, papers in the back there so that's my um, run through Oops, sorry that's just the back uh, hopefully this will work this time and I'll be able to get this uploaded so thanks for watching please leave a comment and I'll no doubt be back again soon thank you bye